The year is 1908, the Wild West is fading, cities are booming. A young, energetic Theodore Roosevelt sits in the White House. He sees a problem. Lawlessness, once confined to remote territories, is now a national concern. The answer, Roosevelt believes, lies in a new kind of law enforcement agency, one with a broader reach and a sharper focus. Thus, the seeds of the Federal Bureau of Investigation are sown. Roosevelt, a man of action, wasted no time. He envisioned a force that transcended state lines, a federal entity capable of tackling interstate crime head-on. Congress, however, was wary. They feared the creation of a secret police force, a sentiment Roosevelt understood. Yet, the need for a unified force to combat fraud, corruption, and violence was too great to ignore. On July 26, 1908, the Bureau of Investigation forerunner to the FBI was born. It was a modest beginning, just a handful of agents operating under the Department of Justice, their mission to investigate violations of federal law. Little did anyone know this small group would become a cornerstone of American law enforcement. They were the first in a long line of men and women who would define the Bureau's legacy. The late 19th century was a time of immense change. The American frontier, once a symbol of limitless possibility, was vanishing. Towns and cities swelled with new arrivals. With this growth came new problems. Organized crime, once confined to saloons and gambling dens, was becoming more sophisticated. Gangs like the Black Hand terrorized communities. The existing law enforcement agencies, often understaffed and ill-equipped, struggled to keep pace. Sheriffs and marshals, once symbols of law and order, were outmatched. The need for a centralized professional force was evident. The Bureau of Investigation, with its federal mandate, was uniquely positioned to bridge the gap. Early Bureau agents faced a daunting task. They had to navigate the remnants of the Wild West while confronting the emerging complexities of urban crime. They were pioneers, forging a new path in law enforcement. Their jurisdiction was vast, their resources limited, but they were driven by a shared sense of purpose, to uphold the law and protect the innocent. The early Bureau agents were a diverse group. They came from all walks of life. Some were former lawmen, others were lawyers, accountants, even journalists. What united them was a shared commitment to justice. They were the embodiment of Teddy Roosevelt's vision. They were incorruptible, resourceful, and relentless in their pursuit of the truth. These early G-men, as they were known, were often thrust into dangerous situations. They faced down outlaws and gangsters, often with little more than their wits and a badge. They relied on their training, their instincts, and their unwavering dedication to the Bureau's mission. They were the thin blue line between order and chaos. Their methods were as varied as the cases they investigated. They went undercover, infiltrated criminal organizations, and developed innovative investigative techniques. They were pioneers in the use of forensics, using fingerprints and other evidence to solve crimes. They set the standard for future generations of FBI agents. Their dedication laid the foundation for the Bureau's reputation as a premier law enforcement agency. The Bureau of Investigation cut its teeth on a series of high-profile cases. These early trials by fire tested the mettle of the fledgling agency. One such case was the investigation into the Osage Indian murders. In the 1920s, dozens of Osage Nation members were murdered in Oklahoma, the motive control of their oil-rich land. The Bureau, under increasing pressure to solve the heinous crimes, dispatched a team of agents to the Osage Reservation. What they uncovered was a conspiracy of greed and murder, implicating prominent members of the community. The investigation was complex and dangerous. Agents faced threats and intimidation, yet they persevered. The Osage case, though fraught with challenges, showcased the Bureau's growing capabilities. It demonstrated their willingness to tackle difficult cases, no matter how powerful the adversaries. It also highlighted the importance of their investigative techniques. The use of undercover agents, forensic analysis, and meticulous evidence collection proved crucial in bringing the perpetrators to justice. The case solidified the Bureau's reputation as a force to be reckoned with. Section 5. The Hoover Era, a double-edged sword. In 1924, a young ambitious lawyer named John Edgar Hoover took the helm of the Bureau of Investigation. Hoover's impact on the Bureau and indeed on American law enforcement would be profound. He would lead the Bureau for nearly five decades, transforming it into the modern FBI we know today. His tenure, however, would be marked by both triumph and controversy. Hoover was a complex figure. 
A staunch anti-communist, he was deeply suspicious of any perceived threats to national security. He expanded the Bureau's reach significantly, focusing on organized crime, espionage, and counterintelligence. Under his leadership, the FBI became a formidable force, taking down notorious gangsters like John Dillinger and Machine Gun Kelly. Hoover's obsession with power and control, however, would ultimately cast a shadow over his legacy. He amassed immense power within the Bureau, using his position to target political opponents and silence dissent. His tactics, often bordering on illegal, tarnished the reputation of the FBI and eroded public trust. The Hoover era remains a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most dedicated public servants are susceptible to the corrupting influence of power. Section 6. Evolution, Not Revolution, Adapting to New Threats the latter half of the 20th century brought new challenges for the FBI. The Cold War ushered in an era of espionage and counterintelligence. The civil rights movement presented unique challenges as the Bureau grappled with its role in a rapidly changing society. Through it all, the FBI adapted, evolving its methods and priorities to meet the demands of a changing world. The rise of organized crime in the post-war years presented a significant challenge. The Mafia, with its tentacles in legitimate businesses and unions, posed a serious threat to national security. The FBI, under Hoover's direction, launched a series of high-profile investigations targeting the leaders of these criminal enterprises. The civil rights movement tested the Bureau in new ways. Hoover, initially resistant to the movement's goals, authorized investigations into civil rights leaders, including Martin Luther King Jr. These actions, often politically motivated, further tarnished the Bureau's reputation and highlighted the dangers of unchecked power. The FBI's handling of the civil rights movement remains a controversial chapter in its history. Section 7. Spying in the Digital Age, Cybercrime and Counterterrorism The dawn of the 21st century brought with it unprecedented challenges, the rise of global terrorism and the proliferation of cybercrime. The FBI, once focused on domestic threats, found itself on the front lines of a new kind of war. A war fought not on battlefields, but in the digital ether and the shadows of cyberspace. The 9-11 attacks were a watershed moment, forcing the FBI to rethink its priorities and adapt to a new era of terrorism. The Bureau shifted its focus to counterterrorism, working closely with domestic and international partners to prevent future attacks. They developed new investigative techniques, embraced technology, and forged alliances to combat this evolving threat. Cybercrime, with its ability to disrupt critical infrastructure and steal sensitive information, emerged as a major threat. The FBI responded by creating specialized cybercrime units, staffed with experts in computer science and digital forensics. These cyber sleuths worked tirelessly to identify and apprehend hackers, safeguard national security, and protect American businesses and individuals from the growing threat of cyber attacks. Section 8. Beyond the Headlines, The Unsung Heroes While high-profile cases and charismatic leaders often dominate the headlines, the real story of the FBI lies in the dedication and sacrifice of its unsung heroes. The agents, analysts, and support staff who work tirelessly behind the scenes to keep our nation safe. They are the backbone of the Bureau, the silent guardians of American freedom. From the forensic scientists who analyze evidence to the intelligence analysts who connect the dots, these dedicated professionals play a vital role in the FBI's success. They are experts in their fields, driven by a shared commitment to justice and the pursuit of truth. Their work often goes unnoticed, but their contributions are essential to the FBI's mission. These individuals embody the values that define the FBI integrity, courage, and unwavering dedication to duty. They are the unseen heroes of countless investigations, working long hours, often under immense pressure, to protect our nation from harm. They are the heart and soul of the FBI. Their sacrifices ensure the safety and security of all Americans. Section 9. A Legacy Forged in Service, The Enduring Significance of the FBI From its humble beginnings as a small group of investigators, the FBI has evolved into one of the world's most respected law enforcement agencies. Its legacy is etched in the annals of American history, forged in the crucible of countless investigations, triumphs, and tragedies. Through it all, the Bureau has remained steadfast in its commitment to protecting the American people. The FBI's enduring significance lies in its unwavering dedication to upholding the rule of law. 
From pursuing criminals to safeguarding civil liberties, the Bureau plays a vital role in preserving the fabric of American society. Its agents and staff, past and present, have earned the trust and respect of the American people through their tireless efforts and unwavering commitment to justice. As the world becomes increasingly complex and interconnected, the FBI's role in safeguarding national security and upholding the rule of law is more critical than ever. The Bureau must continue to evolve, adapt, and innovate to meet the challenges of the 21st century. Its legacy, however, is secure. The FBI remains a beacon of hope, a symbol of justice, and a testament to the enduring spirit of the American people. Section 10, The Watchmen, Guardians of Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. The story of the FBI is ultimately a story about America. It's a story about a nation grappling with its own growth, its challenges, and its evolving identity. The Bureau, a reflection of the nation it serves, has mirrored these struggles, evolving from a small investigative unit to a global force for justice. Through decades of change, the FBI has remained a constant, a symbol of order in times of turmoil, a protector of freedom against those who would seek to undermine it. The men and women of the FBI, past and present, have answered the call to serve, putting their lives on the line to safeguard the American way of life. As we look to the future, one thing is certain, the FBI will continue to play a vital role in shaping the destiny of our nation. They will be there, on the front lines, defending our freedoms, upholding the law, and ensuring that justice is served. They are the watchmen, guardians of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Their vigilance and unwavering dedication are a testament to the enduring spirit of America.